Greetings to all of humanity's really joy, it's a pleasure. It's always my honor to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you whereby I'm pointing you to look no other place but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That is why I'm bringing this message to you, teaching you how to prosper and live in abundance as long as you believe this and apply it in your life. So today, I want to speak to you concerning before you ask, I heard you. Uh, before you speak, I heard you. Before you call, I will answer. Anyhow, you quote that scripture of Isaiah 65, 24, it will come back to everything I would have just said there for you. Okay, so it's like, before you call, I will answer. Before you speak, I have heard. And many people would have read that scripture in Isaiah 65, and they would take everything that is written in that chapter and believe that that would take place when they get to heaven. And that when they say the lamb and the lion and so on can, shall be together and so on, and a little child will play with, a, you know, like a honeybee nest and so on, and it would not hurt, hurt them and so on, and nothing would hurt in my holy mountain that it is really speaking of heaven. And they have in their mindset that heaven is a geographical location. But my brother and my sisters, when you understand that the Bible as a minor must be interpreted psychologically, then you will understand that heaven is a psychological place of dwelling, where you're dwelling psychologically. You'll also realize that Jerusalem, that place of joy, peace, and happiness, is the same place, and it have to do with a psychological atmosphere of being and that is why this message i'm bringing to you it is a positive self-image psychology that i'm teaching you but you have to look inwardly and realize also that the bible is not literal neither is the bible secular history so when it says here before you call i will answer it is teaching you the secret of imagination it is teaching you the secret of thoughts it is teaching you also that a word is a thought express it is teaching you also that everything takes place within it is teaching you also that God is within you and even before you can speak you've already been inspired by the infinite divine power that is in you which is god so the self of man is god so right here in isaiah 65 24 it is teaching you that the self of man is god it is teaching you that the invisible you is god it is teaching you also that you have an outer expression and you have an inner being which is referred to as your soul so the soul is the invisible body and this physical body is the expression of the soul or the visible soul so many people read these scriptures and they never really understand that the entire bible the central theme of the bible is man's imagination many believe is a man two thousand years ago who born from a woman who was still a virgin it means that a person who would think that way doesn't exercise their mind and they would have never think outside of the box okay and when i say think outside of the box what would have taught to them by their parents their their, their teachers their government their, their uh religious ministers and so on and that is why my brother and my sisters it is very important for you to think 
for yourself that even before you ask for something your need is already known and that's why you have no need to worry you have no need to fret you need to understand that everything is energy vibration and frequency and that God in man is man imagination for the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself and that's why my brother and my sisters you're told not to worry not to take thought saying what shall I eat or what shall I drink or what shall I wear for after all these things do the Gentiles seek those who do not know they seek after all of these things because they're looking to a world that is on the outside instead of looking to the world that is on the inside they're looking to intelligence on the outside instead of looking to intelligence that is within themselves he says for your heavenly father know that ye have need of all these things and that is in Matthew chapter 6 okay I just read verses 31 and, and 32 right there for you to dovetail that with Isaiah 65 24 okay and if I should read verses 33 which is one of my favorite scripture Matthew 6 33 say but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you everything that you need everything you desire in this world as long as you discover that the kingdom of God is within you you will actually discover the secret of creation and you'll be able to this and you'll be able to create your reality consciously okay so there are people in the world who are creating their reality and they're creating their, their reality unconsciously and that is why a person they will go on their knee and they will pray to a God outside of themselves and ask for a, a house or they might ask for a vehicle and they got one vehicle they got one house and they go to church and they testify of how great God is and how loving God is to bless them and and they forget that the dealer that they went and buy this one vehicle from that they were supposed to ask themselves if God bless them with one vehicle then who blessed the dealer with hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands and if they think even more deeper they will have to ask themselves who blessed the one who came up with such an invention where did he get a thought of that idea who gave him is it the devil because you see when people do not realize that the devil is not an entity outside of itself the de devil represents the negative thinking they go to their so-called churches and testify of all of these things and never really think where these things really come from so my brother and my sisters i just want to you know encourage you not to worry and not to fret once you have a desire within you that's a spiritual sensation and all you is believe it is as simple as that and it will manifest because the one that is in you is the creator and you and you believe in yourself you're believing in the creator when you trust yourself you're trusting the creator and when you use that power in you to create your reality consciously it is because you're applying faith faith is loyalty to the unseen you've been loyal to that which you cannot see that is faith so apply faith in your life call those things that be not as though they are and do not worry do not fret because before you call i already answer you the answer is already in you everything is already in you all you have to do is just get on the right frequency it is already yours so abundance prosperity it's your birthright also so my brother and my sister i just wanted us to read a scripture of isaiah chapter 65 and verses 24 for you and to six okay i didn't want to go through all of the whole you know chapter and so on but just to give you an idea that throughout the entire bible it is telling you that the creator is in you and you can have whatever you so desire and that you don't need to worry you don't need to fret all you need to do is believe so with that being said my brother and my sisters i want to say to you if you listen to me and you believe what i am saying 
and you really can accept the fact that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, that the Bible is not literal, like a history, then you have come to the right place and this is the message for you. Then I will encourage you to apply your mind power to achieve your every desire. So I want to say uh, to those who haven't subscribed already to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. But just before I leave you, I just want to remind you that this message that I've been bringing to you all the time, that this message is the message of self-realization of which Matthew 6.22 says that if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And that's why I refer to it as the single eye message of self-realization. For had it been that a single eye would have opened within me and I would have awakened from the dream of life, I would have been here bringing this message to you, saying to you that when you awake from the dream of life, that you would change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye and discover that the twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye. And that is why I always say to you, do not let anyone ever brainwash you here to believe that the symbol of the single eye, that it's an evil symbol. No, it is the all-seeing eye of God in you. For when you have the experience, you come to realize that it represents the eye of the mystics, the seers, the prophets, those who will vibrate beyond humanity and come in to their divinity. And that is why I always put my hand right above my crown chakra and give you the symbol of the single eye and say to you that when you have this great experience, you realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun, as in the S-U-N, it parallels the human imagination and the, the sun also. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that is why you're told in Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield, and no good thing will he withhold from you. And truly, the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity, for the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. Then in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2, you're told also that the Son of Righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And truly, that is why I'm bringing healing to all of humanity, pointing each and every one to look inwardly, encouraging you to use, which is your sun power, your solar power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.